From parking lots around Ball Arena to this sprawling redevelopment, retail, offices, residences, these plans from the owners of Ball Arena to turn the home of the Nuggets and Avs into its own neighborhood. Thanks so much for joining us for Denver 7 News at 10. I'm Jacqueline Allen, and we have been staying on top of this plan for years. T and tomorrow, Denver City Council will decide whether the plan moves forward. Denver 7's Maggie Wilanski with the follow-up tonight. There's this big hole right now in Denver, in our city. Ball Arena could soon be the heart of a new neighborhood. I mean, this is what it looks like most of the time. Almost the entire time, every single day, these parking lots are just empty. Nolan Hahn is the president of the La Alma Lincoln Park Neighborhood Association. He says in the mixed use development pitched by Cronky Sports and Entertainment, empty parking lots would turn into businesses and apartments, now including affordable housing. It took a while to negotiate those specifics. We eventually landed on this great plan. 18% um, of the housing that will be here will be affordable. But for the plan to move forward, City Council will decide Monday whether to rezone about 70 acres around Ball Arena, lifting view plane restrictions that are in place to limit building heights from blocking mountain views. I've heard that they're looking to develop it and that there is a concern on the mountain views. For those who live in tall buildings with mountain views like this one, change to the skyline is a serious concern. I don't think anyone's too happy about it, though. On the flip side, proponents say an open space, park, bridges, and bike lanes would transform this neighborhood in the same way Coors Field transformed Lodo. And just having more to do around those areas was a great highlight to kind of expand the downtown Denver area. City Council will weigh it all in a public hearing Monday and the home of the Nuggets and the Avs could one day become Denver's latest place to call home. I think we're expecting it all to go well. I think all the surrounding community is really excited for this. We want this project to happen. Reporting in Denver, Maggie Walansky, Denver 7. Now, as part of an agreement between neighboring groups and Cronky Sports and Entertainment, a $16 million investment fund will be created to support rental assistance along with attracting small businesses and local artists into the area.